guys and welcome back to another video here with angel b designs if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back um what i'm gonna be doing today is i am going to show you guys how to make um or sublimate onto these aluminum bookmarks they are aluminum bookmarks that i purchased off of etsy um i did three of them today we got a, a louis vuitton bookmark we have this one with a positive affirmation. Is it upside down? There we go. It says, you are amazing. This one has a little tassel on it. And then one that just has my name with a marble background. Um, so yeah, I am going to show you guys how to sublimate on these. I will try to link them down below if I can, if I can um, find the shop. I purchased these a, a little while ago. Um, so if I can find the shop, I will link them down below. But this is what we're doing today in this video. If you guys want to learn how to sublimate on these aluminum bookmarks, go ahead and stick around. I will meet you guys over at the computer first for designing. Okay, guys, so I am on my uh, desktop here. So I'm going to show you kind of quickly how I design these um, these bookmarks. It's actually really, really, really simple. Um, I'm just layering it. So I am over in Canva. And if you're on your homepage here, um, you're going to go over to create a design down here at the bottom where it says custom size. We did 1.5 by 6 inches and then create new design is how we got here. Um, and then I'll, I'll go ahead and add a page. So for the first one that has the marble background, all I did was I went into my elements. I searched in white marble, and then I just picked one that I liked. I think it was this one. This is a pro element, so you do have to have the Canva Pro version in order to get this element. Um, if you would like to try it free for 30 days, I will put a link down below for you to try Canva Pro. Um, like I said, it's free for the first 30 days, and then you do have to pay for a subscription that you choose. They have yearly or monthly options. Um, and then what I'm going to do is right click on this and go to set image as background. So now we have the marble background. Then I'm going to go to my text and I'm going to add in the name. This is this uh, font is called Magante, Magente, Magante. I'm not sure what it's called, but I purchased it from Creative Market and then uploaded it into Canva. So this is not a Canva font. And then I'm just going to type my name. Then we're going to spin this around at 90 degrees. That makes sure that it is straight up and down. Come on. Well, we're going to do 89 today. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it because that's going to annoy me. There we go. 90 degrees. And then I just kind of make it, you know, the size I wanted to. And then I center it. Okay. Okay. And that's it. Now, do keep in mind when you are designing this, there's going to be a hole right here at the top. Actually, I'll put it in so you guys can kind of uh, see what I'm talking about. Because it's a bookmark, um, it has a little hole right there at the top for the little um, like tassel that goes right there. So when you're designing your bookmarks, Put a little hole right there just so that you can remember that the hole goes there. Before you download your design, go ahead and erase this circle. Um, but that's just going to make sure that you kind of don't put like a design that you really want right there where that hole is. Um, it's just kind of like a place marker. Okay. So that's what I did for the first one. What I did for this one, pretty much the same exact thing. All I did was I uploaded... Um, I have a background already that I purchased from Etsy. All you have to do um, is I kind of just looked up some like flower backgrounds. Uh, it's called digital paper um, on Etsy. So like flower digital paper is all that I looked up. My phone is going crazy right now. Lord Jesus. Um, and then I just downloaded one that I liked, which is this one. And then we're going to add in um, a square. And then all I did was add in text and then size it to go inside of the box. And then for this one, it's just a Louis Vuitton digital paper. 
Um, I either got it from Google or Etsy. I can't remember which one. Um, please keep in mind there are copyright issues. Um, if you're going to sell something like this, I do not sell my crafts. Um, if you've been watching me, you know this. I do not sell my crafts. So this is going to be for me. Um, I have like eight content planners, so I do need some bookmarks. Um, but this, like I said, is just a digital paper and I either got it from Etsy or Google. I can't remember which one. Okay. Then you're just going to download it. I'm going to be printing from Silhouette the same way I have in previous videos. So I'm going to go ahead and get these designs printed out. I will meet you over. I'm actually going to be using my Easy Press today. So I will meet you guys over at my Easy Press at my craft table and we will sub these. All right, guys. So I am back here with my bookmarks and my images. I do have them printed out and cut up already. Um, and then these are the bookmarks. They come with like a little blue cover on the front of them. So we're just going to go ahead and peel that off. And we're going to sub on the white part that's underneath this uh, blue, blue film. Okay. Now what I'm going to try to do is do all three at the same time underneath my easy press. So I'm going to put the first one down and I'm going to put this on top of it. And then I'm just going to tape it with some of my heat tape so that I can turn it over. Hopefully it'll let me turn it over without shifting it too, too much. Okay. So there's the first one, pretty quick and easy. Same thing, just going to tape it. And then turn it over and the last one. And I do have my easy press right now heating up to um, uh, 385 degrees and we're going to press all of these for 60 seconds at 385 with the easy press okay the next thing i'm going to do i i'm actually out of asa paper i'm sorry i'm out of um butcher paper i'm out of butcher paper so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take a piece of regular like asa paper and I'm just going to put it under here to protect my mat like this. So any ink that comes off will go onto this paper. I have some butcher paper in the mail, so it should be here within the next couple of days. Okay, I'm just going to line these up. I'm not going to worry about covering it because I don't think it's going to mess it up. You know what? Yes, I am going to cover it. What am I thinking? I'm going to cover it with another piece of ASAP paper because, like I said, I am out. And since I have a lot of paper, ASAP paper here, I'm going to turn this temperature up to 380, to, I'm sorry, to 400 on my Easy Press um, just to make sure we get a good amount of heat on this. Um, I, I don't want any ghosting or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to turn this up to 385. I'm sorry, 400. I am stumbling over my words today. I'm turning it up to 400. And all three of these should be able to fit underneath the, um, the Easy Press. So we're at 400 degrees now. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just put these, put this right on top and push down with some medium pressure. And then we are going to go ahead and do this for 60 seconds. <clears throat> and again, I would definitely recommend using some butcher paper or whatever type of craft paper that you use to sublimate one. I just ran out, um, but it should be fine. Hopefully, crossing my fingers, it should be fine. If you haven't already, please join my Facebook group. It's called Crafty Mamas with an S on the end. There are no emojis on the end of it. Um, it's just Crafty Mamas, no emojis. There's tons of talented, talented people inside of my group. We're always sharing different projects that we're doing with each other. There is no selling or promoting your business. Every now and then I might let you promote like your social media, like your TikTok and stuff like that. But um, we don't really sell in that group. Okay, so it has been 60 seconds now. Let's go ahead and remove the paper. Okay. Oh, these are hot. This Louis Vuitton one will actually don't look that good at all. Was there another piece of um ouch. Another piece of film on here, girl? If you, no, there isn't. These things are hot. It just burned my hand. Let me grab my uh my glove. I can't even pick it up. Okay, so this is I don't know. It looked weird to me. I'm not sure why. I don't like that one. This one looks okay. Ouch. Lord Jesus, these things are hot. Okay. So, here is this one that says, you are amazing. These things are, like, so, so hot. Oh, my gosh. I am going to give these a second to cool down, and I'm going to come back because I can't even pick them up or touch them. So, I'll be right back when they cool off for about five minutes. Okay, guys, so it's been a couple of minutes here. Um, I couldn't do anything with those things while they was that hot. So I did let them cool off for just a couple of minutes here. Um, and then I removed the paper. So this is how they turned out. Mm, let me turn this down. I know my ring light be glaring all the time. That's this one. This Louis Vuitton one was at first looking a little dusty. But I really just took a Clorox wipe. And just wiped it off. I'm not sure why it looked dusty, but it did um, for a second. But I just wiped it off with the Clorox wipe and it came right off. Okay, so that's how they look. I think they came out really, really cute. And they are like aluminum bookmarks. I got these off of um, Etsy. If I can find the shop again, because I ordered these a while ago, actually, you guys. If I can find the shop, I will link it down below so that you guys can see. I really like this Louis Vuitton one. But if I um, can find the shop, I will link it down below. But this is, um, yeah, these are the bookmarks. They do come with little um, tassels that you can put on the top. Um, they're just some plain, like, black tassels. I want some to be a little bit cuter, so... Um, I might go to Michael's or something to see if I can find just a regular tassel to put on these because I don't like these black ones. But I mean, you can just put them on here. I already broke one trying to put it on here. They're kind of flimsy a little bit. So I don't plan on using the tassels that they provided. But I mean, you can if you want to. And there's the tassel. There it is with the tassel on it. So 
doesn't look too too bad but um yeah i do plan on making my or either making my own and i'll do a video for that if i do make a tassel or i'll probably just go buy some or something some cuter ones but that is all i have for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you have any questions comments concerns drop them down below any video ideas you would like to see me do drop those down below as well thanks so much for watching bye